What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Today, we're taking a first look at a brand new pair of smart goggles from a company called Finesse. And in this video, we'll take a look at the, you know, heads up display system used to show you your time and your distance and your splits as you swim, as well as, you know, all the other details about the goggle, including, you know, size and weight and, you know, how much leaks and how's the overall fit. And then lastly, we'll talk about, you know, what I love with these goggles, as well as things that I think could be done better. Now, Finesse is a pretty well-known swimming company. They make, you know, all kinds of fantastic swimming gear. And, you know, I've actually talked on this channel about their uh, Finis Agility paddles. They're actually, you know, my favorite uh, paddles for swimming. And, you know, I asked them if they'd be willing to send over these goggles for the purpose of this review. And, you know, as always, you guys know this, whenever a company sends me something new to review, I do try to pass it along to you guys in the form of a giveaway. So, you know, stick around to the end of this video and we'll go over, you know, all the details about how you can actually win this device. But other than the giveaway, you guys are probably, you know, wanting to know a few basic things like, you know, how does this device work? Uh, how much does this thing cost? Uh, things like that. Well, currently this item is on pre-order. Uh, you know, as this video comes out, I imagine that it may be moving out of pre-order, uh, but you can pre-order both the coach, which is kind of the computer system that sits inside and the heads up display system, as well as the goggles, that full package for $235, uh, which is a good bit of money. Uh, but one thing that is nice about these smart goggles is that the two pieces can be separated. Uh, as the goggles start to get old and worn out, or you know, even as maybe just the fog kind of wears out, the anti-fog, and it tends to just not be quite as clear a pair of goggles, you can actually take the coaching part out and just replace the goggles. And that only costs somewhere around $35. I'm not 100% sure if they finalized all the pricing on these things. Okay, so next piece was, you know, how does this thing work? Well, when you first get the device home and you open it up, and I should probably mention that the packaging is fantastic. Uh, I love the matte black that they've done here. Uh, but once you've opened it up, uh, you will need to pair it to your smartphone, you know, over Bluetooth, uh, and it'll actually walk you through the setup process, uh, you know, setting up your pool length, uh, things like that. And in the app, you can actually have multiple pool locations, uh, either 25, 33, or 50, uh, meters or yard distances that you'll set up. And it does make you update the software. Uh, as of this video, the latest is 4.46. Uh, and then you'll also need to plug it in just so you know that the device is charging when it's going through that process. In the computer smart coach, it actually kind of snaps into the left corner of the goggles. Uh, and you know, there's only one button. So super simple design here. Uh, if you press it, you'll see start swim. And then the goggles are gonna detect when you actually start swimming and it'll start your timer as well as your lap count. Uh, when you turn at the wall, the goggles will detect that also. They'll detect the distance, show you that distance change and also show you your split time. To see the clock time or the lap time or the lap split or the rest time, total time or total laps, uh, you're, you are going to have to like look very hard to the left. Uh, and I would say that that does take some, some getting used to uh, as you're swimming. And you can really only see that one metric at a time, uh, but it will flip and rotate based on what you're doing during your actual swim. You can make some minor adjustments. Uh, for example, you know, in the app, you have this you know, standard swim mode, you have a swim lapse mode, uh, swim for time and swim sets. That's all set within the mobile application. Uh, and then the heads up display system, you know, shows that one metric at a time, but as you're swimming, it'll actually change screen. So uh, as you do a turn, you'll see split information. And then, you know, a third screen, you know, while you're resting in between sets. And, you know, when you're finished with your swim, uh, this one button again, you press the one button and then the goggles will start looking for your phone to connect and kind of download the data to the device. Now the application that actually comes with this device is pretty impressive. Uh, you'll see a history of you know, all of your swims and you can actually dive into each swim and see you know, a lot of different details about the swim itself, 
the split times, and you can actually even see which swim stroke you were doing. Uh, and I found that those metrics to be, you know, mostly accurate. I would say that, you know, when I'm doing a very simple basic swim workout, for example, uh, one of the workouts I did was, you know, six by 100, uh, leaving on the 145. And, you know, for that workout, you know, these goggles had no problem whatsoever. Uh, I also tried some more complex workouts with more uh, drill sets and kick sets. And the goggles did struggle a little bit with that. I would love to see, you know, this particular goggle, um, you know, have some sort of drill mode for just that reason. Uh, just because, you know, it doesn't have to track that stuff. It could just set it to drill mode and you could set the distance after the fact. Uh, also, I will say that it is important to note that this is not a FINA approved goggle, meaning that it's, you know, not something that you can legally wear in most swim competitions. And, you know, as for triathlons, most of the people watching our channel, uh, it's a little less clear, you know, most race directors that I know, you know, would definitely not care if you wore, you know, a pair of smart goggles, but if you wanted to be a little bit extra safe, you could always ask each specific race director what their policies are as far as racing with smart, smart goggles, but I can't imagine that you're going to find many race directors that are going to care much about this. Okay, let's talk about what I love with these pair of goggles. And right off the bat, you know, the fit and the overall visibility on this particular goggles is a lot better than some of the other smart goggles that are on the market. Uh, I love the slim size of these goggles. They really seem to fit a lot more like a standard pair of goggles. And while the computer does block some of the vision on the left eye, you know, I felt pretty comfortable with how much I could see in the water. And, and I was swimming with a group of people in a master swim group. But some details on the size. Uh, the width of each lens is about 52 millimeters. Uh, but because the heads up display actually blocks a section of your vision, uh, it actually blocks about 26.5 millimeters of really only that peripheral vision. Uh, there is also a slight bump on the lens in that location. The height of the goggles is about 30 millimeters. The depth of the goggles is for the most part, um, 12.7 millimeters. And then there's really, you know, if you measure it at that bump where it's kind of at its widest over the heads up display, it's about 17 or 18 millimeters. And I think that these size metrics are really important when you get in the water and you're talking about some of the other smart goggles on the market. For example, you know, if you guys remember my form swim goggle review, I mentioned that the depth of these goggles were quite large. Uh, it was like 20 or even 30 millimeters, depending on where you measure it, which is actually pretty difficult uh, when swimming because, you know, whether you're diving or you're pushing off the wall hard, what you end up having is a lot of water pressure on the top of the goggles, and it can actually flip the goggles a little bit and cause a fair amount of leaking. Now, I wouldn't say that the leaking issue was absolutely perfect with the thinnest smart goggles, but I do think that it's significantly better with these goggles, you know, when you're comparing it to something like the Form Swim goggles. But if you guys would like to see, you know, a full comparison between the thinnest smart goggles and the Form Swim goggles, let me know. Drop below in the comments and just let me know what you think. Uh, I actually think that it would make for a really good video just because, you know, these are the two main smart goggles that are currently on the market. And in my Form Swim goggle review, I mentioned that the application is really fantastic and uh, I'm impressed with Finis as well. They've done a really great job with their smartphone application. Uh, it's basically got, you know, four main sections. There's a news section where you could, you know, see friends and see what they're doing on the same platform. Uh, they have a workout history and that workout history can actually be synced over to Strava if you use Strava like I do. Uh, there's also a section for pools. And then lastly, there's a section for goggles where you can make changes, um, very minor changes, I would say, to the actual goggle settings themselves. But I do wish that you could change, maybe even make a few more adjustments to the screens on the device itself from that smartphone application. I would love to see you know, more options for visualizing your pace, uh, which I think would be something that they could potentially even do with a software update in the future. Uh, and then future iterations of the device itself. You know, I personally would love to see a second button. It's great that it's just a very simple one button tool, uh, but I do think that with a second button, you could potentially do things like having a drill mode where you could, um, you know, select drill mode and then select the distance that you did when you had that drill mode set and then go back into lap swimming mode. And this is a perfect time for me to mention that 
you know, this device really is geared towards lap swimming. It's, uh, it's really not designed for open water swimming at this point. There's really no way for you to currently see your pace or other metrics. You can see your time when you do open water swimming, uh, but this device for the most part is, you know, geared towards pool swimmers. You know, other complaints, you know, as far as, you know, heads up display technologies go, you know, this is extremely cool. I'm extremely excited that companies are incorporating this into goggles, but you do have to look really hard to the left to see the details of this little screen. And it feels to me like less of a heads up display system, you know, and more like a very small screen to the side. Now, you know, I will also mention that I, I did have a very hard time seeing this heads up display when I was doing backstroke. Uh, there was a lot of light coming into the goggles and that's probably going to be the case with any heads up display system. They're going to work better when you're looking down and it's dark. Uh, but I figured I'd mention that in case you're, you know, really big into backstroke and you're swimming in an outdoor pool or something like that. And with all of that in mind, I would love to see the pricing be a little bit more reasonable. I think $235 is a lot of money for this device. So overall, you know, there's a lot of changes that I would love to see with the Finis Smart Goggle, uh, but I'm super excited about, you know, any of these companies that are going forward with some of these heads up display technologies on goggles. And I personally think that it really is the best way for us to see, you know, splits and pace and doing some of the stuff that we, we like to do when you're doing a hard distance event in a pool. And the Finnis Smart Goggle is a very wearable, a very usable piece of technology that I'm sure is gonna be improved in the future. So, okay, as far as the giveaway goes, to win these goggles, I would like you to do a few things. First of all, you know, be subscribed here to the channel. Uh, second, drop below in the comment section of this video and, you know, give me a workout that you think that I should try in the pool. Lastly, uh, hop over to the post on Instagram from Finis. I'll leave a link to it directly in the description of this video. It's a cool video that they've posted uh, and just give that particular video a like. Um, you know, optionally, you can comment about, you know, how cool the models are that Finis used for this particular ad. Uh, but I will give this video just a few weeks uh, and then we'll come back and just pick a random comment. I will connect with you, you know, over private message on Instagram or some location like that just to get your address. And then I will send these goggles your way. Uh, for full description of the contest and the giveaway, you know, check the description of the video and you'll be able to find out more details about that. But most importantly of all, uh, don't forget to get out there, swim, bike, run, rinse, and then repeat it all over again. And we will see you guys on the next video.